It's Jewel. Isn't it true that Brooke and Justice paid you to be a babysitter or a nanny for Araya? Yes, sir. <coughs> I'm sorry? Yes, sir. That was your decision to be a babysitter for Araya. That was your choice. Yes, sir. You had an agreement with them to watch Araya, yes. correct? Yes, sir. You had an agreement to care for Araya. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You had an agreement to make sure <coughs> when Araya was with you to make sure that she was safe. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You were her caregiver on the days that you watched her, correct? Yes, sir. Isn't it also true that Brooke and Justice paid you money because you were the babysitter on the days that you would watch her? Yes, sir. Isn't it true that on the days that you had Araya, that you were watching and caring for Araya, that you were supposed to feed her? Yes, sir. You were supposed to make her baby bottle? Yes, sir. You were supposed to mix her baby food together to feed her the formula? Yes, sir. Change her diaper when necessary? Yes, sir. If she needed baby lotion or baby wipe, you were responsible for that? Yes, sir. That was your decision that you told Brooke and Justice that you would do? Yes, sir. If she needed a blanket, you'd give her a blanket? Yes, sir. A change of clothes, you would take care of her and change her clothes, correct? Yes, sir. If she needed a pacifier, you'd give her a pacifier? Yes, sir, absolutely. These are things that you agreed to do when you would be caring for Araya. Yes, sir. Let me take you to July 19th of 2023. On that day, you went to Brooke and Justice's house, correct? Yes, sir. You got up that morning from your house and you drove to Brooke and Justice's house, correct? Yes, sir. That was your job. Yes, sir. And you didn't forget to do that. Correct? Right. As I mentioned earlier, you were being paid to do this because it was your job. Yes, sir. So you drive your vehicle to Brooke and Justice's house. You did not forget how to get to her house, correct? Right. You then pull into the driveway, correct? Correct. When you went to Brooke and Justice's house, isn't it true that you had your cell phone with you? Yes, sir, it was a cup holder. When you got to Brooke and Justice's house, didn't Brooke have a riot in the baby car seat? Yes, sir. And isn't it true that Brooke put Araya inside of your vehicle? Yes, sir. You were there, you were present, and you saw her put the baby in your vehicle. Yes, sir. You don't, you didn't forget that. You remember that. Yes, sir. You saw Brooke put the baby bag with all of the items inside of it inside of your vehicle. Yes, sir. You don't, you didn't forget that, correct? Correct. Right. You then drove off in your vehicle with Araya in the vehicle with you, correct? Yes, sir. There was no one else in the vehicle but you and Araya? Yes, sir. You go to Burger King. How far would you say it is from Burger King to Brooks House? Um, I didn't go through Burger King. I stopped at the red light. The red light. How far approximately is it? I'm not really sure. Um, not good with distance, so I don't, I don't know. Three, four minutes? Yes, yes, sir. Did you forget about a riot in three or four minutes? You just picked her up. Yes, sir. I did pick her up. Yes, sir. I agree. When you I got did. to the intersection of where Burger King is, did you forget that quickly <coughs> that you had just picked up a baby? It was, it was not that quickly. I went from... So you remembered she was in the car at that moment? No, sir. I didn't. I picked her up. Is it your testimony today, Ms. Jewell? Judge, 
Let the witness answer the question, please. Uh, is it? Sustain. Go ahead and answer, Ms. Jewell. I picked her up from Brook and Justice's house at approximately 8 o'clock, and I went through, through McClinney, through the red lights, and I stopped at the red light at Burger King, and in my mind, I was picking up breakfast for all the kids, and I noticed that the line was long, and I would not make it t to uh, the Pascal's house by 8.15, so I just went and went ahead and, and went to the Pascal's house because I needed to be inside so she could leave by 8.15. Okay, so let me back up a little bit. Let's go back to the red light mm -hmm. where the Burger King is. That's just a few minutes from Brooke and Justice's house, correct? I would say 10 minutes. My question to you is this. When you got to that red, house, red light mm -hmm. where the Burger King is, at that moment, did you forget Araya was in the car? I did. You did? Mm -hmm. So you had gotten up that morning with the job of driving to Brooks' house mm -hmm. to get Araya, and your testimony today is after picking up the baby, in approximately 10 minutes, you forgot you had picked up the baby. I forgot I had her, yes, sir. And that was your job, to get her. Correct? Correct. Yes, sir. And as you testified today, you've, you've been doing this for years. Correct? Yes, sir. So you leave the Burger King, you go to Stacy's house, correct? Yes, sir. You're testifying today that you forgot Araya was in the car by the time you got to the intersection of where Burger King is and also at Stacy's house, correct? Yes, sir. So it would be fair to say that at that moment you have failed in your duties as a caregiver, correct? I did not hear her. I did, she didn't make a sound, so I didn't know she was, in, I forgot she was in the car. I didn't hear her. Ms. Jewell, that, that isn't my question. Okay, my I'm question sorry. is, would you agree, isn't it true? You're saying you forgot she was in a car. You failed as your as a nanny, as a babysitter, as a caregiver. You're saying you forgot about the baby. Yes, sir. So you failed in your duties, correct? Yes, sir. You get to Stacy's house and you get out of the car, correct? Yes, sir. You had your cell phone in your hand, a bag of chips, a can of chicken, and a, I think your water bottle or a cup of water, whatever it was, correct? Yes, sir. You didn't forget to take those things out of the car, correct? Correct. It was sitting in front of me, yes, sir. You could have put a rise blanket in front of you if you wanted to, but you didn't do that. That was your choice, correct? No, sir. I didn't put a blanket in the car. Was the blanket in the car? It was, oh, yes, sir. It was on, I guess it was in her bag or... But you could have put it in the front. You could have put the whole baby bag in the front seat if you wanted to, but you didn't. Correct? I did not. So your testimony today is you got up in the morning, you drove to Brooks' house and Justice's house, picked up the baby, and in approximately 15 minutes, you just forgot the baby was in the car, even though that was your job, correct? Yes, sir, I forgot. When you went into Stacy's house, you have to agree, isn't it true, you never got Araya out of the car? No, sir, I did not. You didn't get the baby bag out of the car either? No, sir. You get to Stacy's house, and at 8.17, you've seen the text. You send a text to At 8.17, the text from you to Brooke is just left. Shocker, with a emoji, a happy face emoji. You remember that? Yes, sir. So you sent Brooke a text at 8.17. Miss Jewell. You're saying that you forgot Araya's in the car. 
But at 817, you're texting her mom. There's no reason for you to even be texting Brooke unless you have her child. You're texting her at 817 in the morning, letting her know Stacy's left. This was normal for us to text every day. You're texting Araya's mom at 817. Yes, sir. You'd have to agree there's no reason to text her. The only reason Objection, is... Objection, Your Honor. Asked and answered. Overruled. Cross-exam. The only reason to text her is to let her know Stacy has left the house and you have Araya. Isn't that correct? Yes, sir. But it, it stems from a, a conversation we had the day before about how Miss Pascal would come and, you know, she would come and then she, she would leave when I got there. She would leave late. She would come late. She would leave late. That's what that was about. Miss Jewell, you are having contact with Araya's mom at 817. Araya is still in the car. And you're saying today that never rang a bell? No, sir. That, it did oh, not. the baby's in the car. No, sir. It Even did though not. you're communicating with the baby's mom? No, sir, because that was normal for us to talk every day. Okay. So let's go to 832. 832, you have another text communication with Brooke, Araya's mom. Mm -hmm. Once again, you're having communication with Araya's mom. And you're saying today that still at that moment, even though you're talking to the baby's mom, it never dawned on you, oh, geez, the baby is still in the car. No, sir, I did not. I forgot that I had her. I, she, I forgot she was with me. Let's go to 1125. Yes, sir. At 1125, you have a communication with Nevaeh Carter. This is Araya's aunt. Yes. The 18-year-old girl that took the stand yesterday. And you respond in some Snapchat, responding to some picture she posted where you say, I think it was, hey, cuties, Rhonda loves you. Yes, sir. Once again, you're having communication with Araya, the baby, with her aunt, Navaya. Yes. And you're testifying today that now for the third time, you're having communication with someone related to Araya, and it never dawned, you, dawned on you that Araya is in the car. No, sir, it never did. On July 19th, 2023, you left Araya in the car for over five hours, correct? Yes, sir. You never, ever fed her on that day, correct? Yes, sir. You never made a bottle for her, correct? Correct. Never changed her diaper, correct? <clears throat> never changed her clothes, correct? Yes, sir. Isn't it true that you never um, used baby wipes or baby lotion or anything like that for her at all? Would that be accurate? Yes, sir. You never did anything that would be necessary for a babysitter or a caregiver to make sure that a 10-month-old baby would be safe. Isn't that accurate? Yes, sir. So you failed in your duty of care towards Araya, this 10-month-old child, correct? Yes, sir. You admit that. Because I forgot I had her. Yes, sir. You, but you failed in your duty. Yes, sir. You had mentioned, I think a little while earlier, that Araya at that age could crawl a little bit. I think you'd have to admit Araya was incapable of unbuckling herself from the car seat or opening a car door at that age. Would that be accurate? Yes, sir. On July 19th, Ms. Jewell, when this occurred, isn't it true that you never answered the door when Brooke knocked on it, the front door? Yes, sir. You never answered the door when she rang the doorbell, correct?
Correct? Correct. Isn't it also true that Brooke would normally, as she testified, she'd come to the front door to pick up Araya? Yes, sir. And when she finally called you, you said, what door are you at? Correct? Yes, sir. On that day, Ms. Jewell, were you, were you drinking? No, sir. Were you on any kind of um, drugs or narcotics? No, sir. You mentioned you had like a shoulder pain or something. You weren't taking anything for that. If I took anything, it was Tylenol or ibuprofen. You mentioned to Investigator Dougherty when you were being interviewed about your child going to college, about going to England. You were focused on that that day. I had a lot of things going on. But your responsibility was to care for Araya. You didn't do that. Isn't it true? Yeah. Yes, sir. And that was your decision to watch her. You agreed to do that. Yeah, yes, sir. Ms. Jewell, on July 19th, you remember getting up. Yes, you remember sir. picking up Araya. You remember trying to go to Burger King and you remember going to Stacy's house. You remember making text messages twice to Brooke. You remember a, a Snapchat response to Nevea. You remember all that, but you don't remember Araya. Yes, sir. even though that was your job? Yes, sir, it was my job. Would you agree that on July 19th, for those five hours, it was your responsibility to care for Araya? Is that a yes? Yes, sir. And you would agree that under your watch, Araya died. Is that true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I have one moment, Your Honor? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ms. Jewell, when you would care for Araya, you'd have to change her diaper. Yes, sir. But on that day, you didn't. No, sir. Judge, these have been asked three or four times already of the witness. Sustained. Isn't it true on that day of July 19th, you helped take the dog out or take the dog back in because the dog was outside and it was hot outside? <coughs> No, sir. I wasn't in charge of the dog. That was Maddie's, Maddie's dog. Do you remember Maddie bringing the dog in? No, sir. I do not. That was a communication with her and her mom.
He mentioned not hearing Araya when she was in a vehicle. Yes, sir. But it is your fault that Araya is dead because you left her in the car. I forgot she was in the car. Yes, sir. That's all I have, Your Honor. Redirect. Mr. Jewell, I have just a couple more questions for you, okay? The state pointed out that it was your job to take care of Araya. Was it also your job to take care of Stacy Pascal's twins and her daughter on that day as well? Yes, ma'am. And did you perform that job? Yes, ma'am. I think the state tried to pinpoint or get you to pinpoint at what point in the car you forgot Araya. Do you know? between Brooke and Justice's house and Stacy's house at what point you forgot she was there? No, ma'am. Did Orion make any noise or anything to remind you that she was there? No, ma'am. And when you put, picked Araya up from Brooke and Justice Page's house, on the morning of July 19th, who put her in the car? Uh, Brooke did. And who usually put her in the car? Brooke. And uh, who put her baby bag in the car? Brooke. Who usually did that? Brooke. And where were both of those items located? In the passenger side of the back seat. Ms. Jewell, did you intentionally leave Araya Page in your car? No, ma'am. I have nothing further. Thank you. Any other questions of this witness at this point? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Jewell, you can step down, if you will, please, ma'am, and return.